one, two. All right, let's go ahead and hop right into the next topic here. And also, thank you very much, Rez, for plugging the merch. If you guys have not checked out the merch line of the OO Wars yet, please go ahead and do so. That said, everybody here remember January 6th? I did, like, 14-hour-long coverage of the entire event, and it was it was maddening. Uh, but, apparently, uh, there is an idea that we might have something similar to that again. I am not 100% sold on the idea that uh, people are going to attempt that kind of, of a riot again, but there is, at the very least, a protest going to be happening around the Capitol in regards to January 6th, so we're going to take a look at that here in a second. But before we do so, let's go ahead and hop into the fan art section. So, this piece was done by Roxianus. Uh, they said, I made this because honestly I've been watching your videos for a long while and it felt like making something that would make you laugh. Hope I like it. You know what? I do like it and because I like it and it shows the maid Cirrus, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, dude... We can, we can do this. We can do this. We're going to break the fourth wall for a second. Aha! There we go. We've broken reality. We've broken reality. There we go. Now, we are made, Zerez. I see it, so I want to be it. Waha! Deal with it. <laughs> We're going to put myself just a little lower down here. There we go. The next one we have is a an incredibly well done one from Smacko. They say, I don't participate so much in the community, but I am a long time watcher of the channel. Since I constantly hear Sonic music on Cirrus's videos, I suppose that he would like a Sonic Cirrus. And yeah, I would like a Sonic Cirrus because I am a huge Sonic fan. Speaking of that, uh, there's another message from Smacko that was in the Discord server somewhere else that I think I want to bring up. Said, uh, this is what I get for not participating in the community. I had no idea Sonic <laughs> Cirrus had a Sonic podcast. Yeah, no, if you if you haven't already, I have. Uh, I am one of the four hosts of the Sonic podcast, uh, Sunset City. Host that with Channel Pup, Game Apologist, and Wayne is Boss. We cover stuff every single Friday at 12 Eastern-ish every single week so if you are a fan of sonic or video game related conversations and you want to break from all the nonsense that i usually cover that's a wonderful place to go for all kinds of stuff also i didn't realize that uh gf Sirius was sitting where they were we need to put you back here sorry pop sorry we <laughs> layering problems everybody layering problems as always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. I greatly appreciate it. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is dropping it into the fan art section of the Discord. With all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the article that we are about to get into after you hit the subscribe button on this channel and the bell notification icon. Those are very useful things to hit if you want to see new content coming out. Anyways... This was just put up four hours ago at time of me covering this. A nationally organized far-right rally is planned for Saturday in D.C. Should we be worried? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. As fencing goes up once more around the U.S. Capitol, police and lawmakers are looking ahead to Saturday with a mix of concern and resolve. A group calling itself Look Ahead America ran by a former Trump campaign staffer named Matt Brainerd, has organized the September 18th follow-on protest under the name Justice for J6. Referring to the January 6th insurrection and the insurrectionists who were arrested or killed. With the violent attack still fresh in the minds of the American public and lawmakers, what should we make of this planned protest? Could it get out of control once again? Here are a few things to consider. What are they protesting? Brainerd put out a rally guidance video in which he claims he'll be demanding justice for so-called political prisoners arrested after the insurrection. Let's go and take a look at the video real quick. Let's see here. Hi, this is Matt Brainerd, executive director of Look Ahead America, bringing you some up. You are the executive director of Look Ahead America, but somehow 
you could not hire a sound technician so that I could hear you out of more than my left ear. Why? Updates about our upcoming Justice for J6 rally on Saturday, September 18th at noon at the U.S. Capitol on the West Lawn. Okay. I'm happy to announce that my co-host for this event will be Kara Castronova, leader of Citizens Against Political Persecution. I'm also very excited to announce some of our upcoming speakers once we have them locked in. These are people that you're going to be very excited to hear are joining their voices with ours okay. and are going to be at the rally as part of our effort to raise awareness of this tragedy, of this grave violation of civil rights of hundreds of our fellow Americans. So you mean people who invaded the Capitol? Oh my God, that is loud. But thank you very much for the 10 bits. So you mean people who invaded like freaking private offices and shit it's it's th that was a-okay -okay for people to do so in order to have a safe event i'm going to need your help you're probably aware that look ahead america has held many rallies in fact two in district of columbia one at the department of justice right in front of it and one at the prison where many of these political prisoners are being held they're not political prisoners they, they just flat out violated the law dude along with another nine rallies all across the country. We've had no incidents, we've had no problems, we have a perfect safety record, and we're gonna maintain it, but we're gonna need your help. So I've got a few requests for you. A number one request is to be respectful and kind to all law enforcement officers who may be present. There will be Metropolitan Police, Capitol Police, and Park Police. Asking you to please be kind to Just them, the be officers? respectful. What about like counter protesters? And if you to do something, please do so. Yeah, I, the only the only I can hear him from my left headphone. Apparently, he is so important and he has such a prolific status uh, that he was not able to hire a proper audio technician to handle any of his shit. We'll have our own private security there, along with attorneys who will work with those police agencies to keep everybody safe. Second, stay in groups, especially when you are leaving the event, at least until you get out of the District of Columbia or back to the hotel where you're staying. So it would help if you self-organize and we'll help do this from the stage. Get around other people who are going the same place you are, stay together, numbers will keep you safe. Next, notify Look Ahead America volunteers if you identify any problems. They may be individuals in the crowd who are going to try to cause trouble, create drama, cause violence. Okay, so I don't think we really need to look at the rest of this. It's basically just him saying, don't cause a ruckus while we cause a ruckus. Okay, cool. Fine. So, let's take a look here. Again, this is why I, I, I said earlier, I don't think we're going to have another another capital riot the same way we did then. I don't think we're going to have another violent riot the same way we did then. I, I, I don't. Now, do I think the thing that they're protesting is stupid? Yeah, more than likely. But let's go ahead and continue the article itself. They call, uh, they, this calls also, the calls also center around Ashley Babbitt, the QAnon follower fatally shot by a Capitol Police officer as she broke through a window and tried to enter the Speaker's lobby in Congress at the head of the violent mom. Authorities are concerned that Babbitt could serve as a kind of martyr to motivate further extremism. Well, yeah, that we already know. The shift in rhetoric to focus on political prisoners is head spinning and notable. Given that the right for months attempted to claim that the entire insurrection was some kind of left-wing false flag or Antifa plot, it follows the lead of radical House members such as Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Paul Gozer, who are associated with Look Ahead America and have spoken at earlier protests on behalf of the political prisoners. So far, the extremist GOP House members have not been able to rally large crowds to the cause and have been met by counter-protesters who have disrupted their press conferences. Ha! That's funny. Also, yeah, no, somebody in the chat earlier called it when they were just like, how much you want to bet Marjorie Taylor Greene is involved. Almost as if it's on cue. Right-wing chat rooms and platforms are abuzz with the news of the protest, and some of the most violent hate organizations, such as the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers, through their videos, have encouraged their members to attend. Okay, just... 
again, having violent member or members of a violent group in your protest doesn't necessarily mean that the protest is going to turn violent, though. So at least there's that. The Department of Justice has also begun to flag social media posts. Ty uh, they said that tyrants want us to live in fear. They want us to fear being labeled domestic terrorists. Well, you were. One post said that uh, another advised prospective attendees not to bring their cell phones and to stay in hotels outside of D.C., and a Capitol Police intelligence memo obtained by CNN warns of potential violence on September 18th. Well, yeah, the all protests have a potential for violence. All of them. That is that is the nature of protest. So including against Jew... Oh, wait, what? There might be violence against Jewish centers and liberal churches while law enforcement is distracted that day. Really? Okay, so stuff not happening with the protest specifically, but there might be violence in other, like, tangentially related areas because the protest will be a center of attention. We're going back to the Capitol, right where it started, Organizer Brainerd warned. He said it's going to be huge. Notwithstanding this bluster, the number of attendees is currently expected to number in the low thousands. If that, with over 600 arrests from January 6th, many would-be agitators may stay away, concerned that they will be identified and investigated. Some of them are still at large. Homeland Security has assigned a low threat level to the protest for now, giving it a rating of 5 on the 5-point scale, with 1 being the most dangerous. Again, that's, that's about what I figured. Um... A five means the event is nationally recognized, but generally will have local or state importance. Uh, in addition, the protest is taking place on a Saturday when Congress is out of session, so there will be few staffers or Congress members there, and the House is not yet back in session. Given these factors, a repeat of January 6th on September 18th is fairly unlikely. Still, authorities are taking a few chances. After January 6th, congressional hearings cited a series of intelligence and security failures, and several leaders and officers within the Capitol Police resigned or were disciplined. Authorities are not eager to see a repeat of those failures, and so precautions and preparedness are in order. They said, we're closely monitoring September 18th, and we are planning accordingly. Okay. So, not much more to cover there, just the fact that there is a protest happening I just want to know, like, why, if a bunch of people are, are are storming into your office, a place that you are supposed to be able to be in and be safe in, and then they are arrested, the fact that you are a politician does not suddenly make that person a political prisoner. Like, they're just a prisoner, because they violated a law. But, you know, that's that's just me. But somebody asked me on Twitter if I was looking at this and covering it, and yes, yes I am. We have now looked at it. Uh, I do not think that this is necessarily going to be a violent event. I think that the the thing that caused the January 6th event to be as violent as it was, was the existence of Trump. The ability of him to be a figurehead who whipped people into that kind of a fervor. And then people carrying that momentum forward while he did not necessarily say be violent people were able to piggyback off of his rhetoric and the type of person that he is this does not seem to have the same type of figurehead who has the charisma to whip people up into that same kind of dangerous fervor I think the event will likely be more safe but if you are going to be counter protesting at the event if you are going to be doing any of that Please be careful. There's always the chance for these things to go south. There's always the chance for things to go haywire. There's always a chance for any protest of any kind to be violent. So please be careful. That would be my one request. Be careful. With that said, though, with all of that said... If you enjoyed this video or any of my content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, please consider hitting the notification bell so that you'll know whenever new episodes are up. Please follow over on Twitch if you haven't already. And with all of that said, as always, everyone, 
insert in the video tagline here. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.